The title of my workshop was Spatial Planning, as if people really mattered. And the danger is that we've lost sight of that altogether. If you go back to the origins of planning in the 19th century, the origins of modern planning, then it's always all about health and trying to compensate for the totally unhealthy conditions in the cities at that time. So we've recently done a study for NICE which shows that um, the degree to which we're actually incorporating systematically and pro appropriately health into planning now is unusual, shall we say, certainly in Britain and even across the world. The evidence is not very good at all. So we've, we've really got to step up to the mark and, and do something more, more um, intentional, more conscious about this. Look at around presently at the, the kind of environment which we've got, just around this area as, a, as an example. And it's all designed for individual big developments which slice up the city in a way that means that people can't walk very easily between places. The distances become un unmanageable. Um, car, car use is the dominant mode. Um, so the offices around here are 95% car dependent. We've got to get away from the current pattern of things and start putting other things priority. So in the workshop, I gave some of the evidence which showed there is a direct relationship between the quality of environment and the health and well-being of people and the quality and the ability this evidence is getting stronger and stronger every year. Um, and then also that while not in England or Britain, but if we go to some towns in the, in the continent, you can find places where they've really taken quality of life and well-being on board, creating places that uh, are not reliant on motor cars, which have all the pollution problems, carbon dioxide problems, lack of physical activity problems, um, sort of exclusion problems, but are, are creating places which are really good to live in and, and people react well to that.